Welcome to the ultimate Godzilla vs. Grand Maha vs. Blue Battle by this amazing channel, Godzilla Lod. It's about to go down. We can finally put to rest who's the strongest sea monster, Godzilla, Maha, or Bloop. I used to cheer for Bloop a lot, but these days I'm more of a Grand Maha kind of guy. Maja? No, because in Spanish the J's are silent, so it's gotta be Maha. I just don't love Bloop anymore. I used to love Bloop, but it looks like more veiny and pale every time I see it. It looks like it's dying or it's becoming some sort of Beetlejuice type monster. It definitely doesn't get more attractive. This thing's just got way more teeth. God, that is horrific. All the lip shredding. That's why sharks have those crazy scars all over their mouths. Okay, see, Godzilla's atomic breath is just like the defining factor. It doesn't matter what you're gonna do. Does it burn at like five million degrees or something like that? There's no beating it. Although the bite force on that creature must be pretty tremendous. It's, it's freaking huge. Well bigger than Godzilla. A tackle. Didn't even kill it with a BB. Freaking tackled it. In the water. I feel like tackling in the water is so difficult. Bloop's even uglier out of There's no reason to insult it any farther. It's dead now, clearly. What was that? Dark Grand Maha? God, Godzilla's beautiful. Jesus, Grand Maha's, he's like, he's like four miles long, so I guess it makes sense. You can tail smack him while beaming him. I wonder if eventually something just so tremendously big could eventually overpower and take on Godzilla. Like in the water, eventually, Jesus! That is going to be the most uncomfortable dump you will ever take in your entire life. If those dorsal spikes don't break down, you are going to crap blood, my boy. I imagine that's what, like, IBS is like. Nuclear Godzilla pulsing inside your belly. This is how I imagine IBS. This fat turd's eating everything! Big ol' gobbledy monster. It's like when you're playing Ark Survival Evolved and a giant red flaming T-Rex comes out of the bushes. You're like, what the hell? And it's some crazy variation of the T-Rex. Oh, in the eyes, genius. That's like the Titanic version of pocket sand right there. Not gonna lie, Godzilla Earth beams me in the eyes. I'm gonna have trouble seeing after that. It's just science. I will have difficulty. In fact, I feel like just looking at the atomic breath would melt out your retinas like a nuke going off. This thing's too big. It's just gonna eat everything. Yeah, there's too much. It's, it's gotta go on for like five miles. It looks like a giant tapeworm, which scare me because they grow in people's butts. Like there's worms that grow in your butts. It's a horrifying planet we live on. And they do get about that big. I don't mean to be that guy, but Planet Eater Ghidorah could for sure kill that Grand Maha. So I'm forced to think Earth is just a weenie. Damn, bro, he's got your foot. Godzilla Earth in the ocean would be a trippy concept. The whole oh, thing is tremendously monstrous. Like the ocean would all rise an inch. That tail pulse beam thing that Earth has is just crazy. Oh, it is opening. Okay, and Earth doing a nuclear pulse is just the craziest concept I've ever heard of. The power, I feel like that would destroy the planet. What the hell is that thing? There's always a bigger fish. At this point, 
We just gotta surrender the planet. Pack it up, hug your mother, it's over. Human's response to this would be to nuke it until it stops moving. And I'm pretty sure after like 13 nukes, Earth isn't even habitable anymore. We would nuke this thing until our own planet's destroyed. Which is a bold strategy. If we can't have our planet, no one can. We're humans, damn it. That's how we roll. Oh, that's nice. Subscribers. Milestones. If everyone just turns off the lights on Earth, that thing won't notice us. We just need to, everyone together, synchronized light shutting off. Why do I feel like these things exist in like Eastern Europe? See, blue being that pale, I guess makes sense. He's from, well, damn! Can't have anything around here. He is from the Arctic though. I was gonna say that'd probably be a difficult poop as well, but he doesn't have dorsal spikes. Everyone's killing everybody! Damn, bro. Maybe this is why we don't have any kaiju existing on planet Earth. That big fat idiot ate them all! Petrified Shin Godzilla. He woke him up. He's like, wake up, dude. We got we got people to beat up. We got wedgies to give. Where's your eyeballs, you lifeless monster? Shin swimming will always trip me out so much. It's like the last thing you'd expect to go swimming. Oh, they're gonna sandwich it. When the screen goes white, that's how you know peak damage was implemented. It's like the rules of animation. But it wasn't enough. Oh, Shin is so screwed. Shin's about to die. No! Oh! Back beam for your life, little buddy. Oh, okay. Mouth beam. Whatever. What? No! It's so sad when you see the energy ball slowly moving towards the character you like when they're like meeting in the middle and you're like, Oh God, don't go the other way. But it doesn't. A lot of people hate Shin Godzilla. I love it. Not every Godzilla variation has to be the big hero of the story. Sometimes they're just chilling. It will take friends from space to defeat creatures from space. You goober! At least no one will eat him because he's rock solid. Talk about a painful turd. But what does that mean? Uh oh. Airberry. Save him, Godzilla! You must! Uh, Woza! What's going on here? What happened? What pulled it out of the ocean? Oh, they've combined abilities! Earth has space abilities! That's crazy! Throw him into orbit! Or throw him at our enemies. Who's America's enemies right now? Now you done it. Dude, Space Godzilla Earth is a crazy concept. That's gotta be the most powerful Godzilla that could exist, right? Like that or Hell Godzilla or 
No, that. It's gotta be that. Maybe Hell Godzilla. No, definitely Hell Godzilla, but this guy's second for sure. Why can that fish fly? Explain to me the physics. Wait, how could Godzilla fly? Okay, I get it. It's all about who's got a second beam. Oh God, it's gonna slowly move towards someone again. Oh, he gave it more juice. That fish is screwed. Oh boy. Was that Geigen bloop? Save last seconds. What's going on? Damn aliens. It's about to get crazy. It's about to be Geigen Bloop, and I feel like Geigen Bloop's gonna be the coolest one of them all, dude. He's gonna be my favorite. Look at these epic post-battle screenshots with like good old-fashioned metal music. Well, this was awesome, but I'm super excited to just see that Geigen Bloop appear. It's gotta be Geigen Bloop. It's just gotta be. It's gotta be. Leave a like, subscribe for more, subscribe to this amazing channel, link down below, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>